Hello everyone, good afternoon and a very very warm welcome to the class. I can see Sai is already here. Hey Anshul, hi Ritesh. Yeah Nitin, how are you all doing today? Good, good to have all of you in the class today. Hey Tavishi, good afternoon. Good afternoon all of you. Hey Suman, Abhimanyu. Hey Vikas, Ritesh, Tavishi. Good, good, good. Today it's going to be a really important class because we are finally starting with our chapter Assets, Bases and Souls. It's a really colourful chapter I would say. Hey Muskan. I am doing really well. How are you all doing? Great, good to know that. Yes, definitely we will be talking about indicators today. You know, indicators, they give us some precise information. We all know what indicators are, right? But what are indicators indicating about assets, bases and souls? That is what we will be talking about today. Super excited, good to know that. We have a lot of activities lined up for all of you today. So quickly tell your friends that the session has started. Hey Simran, hi Manisha, super duper excited, that is just awesome. Good to read that, you know, when you people comment like this, our energy levels, they are also increased. Hey Manish, Urmila, absolutely. Hey Parveen, hey before we get started, you all know about the gift that we have for all of you, right? Baiju's mini learning program is now free, absolutely free. Yes, you heard it right. All you have to do is use this code YT free. And this is for a limited time period. So I want all of you to grab this opportunity because this is actually going to give you the access to all the premium features that we have for all of you. So just go to the link that's been given to you in the description box and then it will take you to the Baiju's website where you will see the introductory pack of three sessions but with a charge. But, but, but the moment you will use this code YT free, whatever fee that's being mentioned over there would be waived off and you will see a perfect zero, rupees zero out there. Hey Shweta, nice to know that Suman. Yes, we have just started with the class. Great, I can see many of you have already used this code YT free and then of course as I was telling you about all the premium features, two teacher advantage, one on one guidance from a personal mentor because I really feel this way that you know this is a personalized journey for all of you, you need personal guidance, yes, we will have menti, yeah, don't worry, pakka menti karenge, hey belated happy birthday Himani. So yes, all these are the important features. I hope you all are all set to actually avail all of these. Fatafat se thumbs up de do agar already aap logo ne ye features access kare hai and you are enjoying them too. Hey Saksham, hey Vebhavi, Ashish. Yeah Anukriti, you will definitely enjoy this session. So you are from grade 8. But you must have an idea about acid bases and salts, I'm sure. Because that's a topic in grade 7 also. I see loads of thumbs up, I see loads of smiley. So you people are learning the mini learning program that we have for you. So yes, it is for a limited time period. Quickly go, avail it and learn in the perfect manner that you can. Great, all right, so let's get started with today's topic, but jaldi se mujhe green signal de do, fata fat se, you know, give me a green signal, a thumbs up, a smiley, so that I know everything is perfectly visible, audible, badiya chal raha hai, PPT dikh rahi hai, and then we'll get started. Yes, Hemani, I remember, I definitely remember all of you, because you people are so sincere, so disciplined, yaar, matlab, every time you're there, right, you know, at the correct time. Hey Himani, that is super cool actually. Yes, this session is also going to be super, super cool. 
good i can see the thumbs up coming my way so that means there is no technical glitch sab badhiya chal raha hai and is badhiya session ko ab aage badhate hain what do we have for today so we'll be talking about well no surprises there we'll be talking about assets we'll be talking about bases and most importantly we'll be talking about indicators now you already know what indicators are signs signals symbols they all are indicating something like the moment we are on the road and we see that red light we know we have to stop ki rukna padega ab to we all know that right or maybe right now just i'm telling you to give me a green signal give me a good to go to start the class so you know what indicators are you know what you know what's what's the science behind this what's the logic behind this yes absolutely we are starting with a new chapter today that's acid bases and salts correct and we will be talking about acids and bases and indicators a brand new chapter very colorful chapter hey nitesh urmila shweta good i can see slowly all of you are joining in yes anukriti we will be talking about that too absolutely so yes this is the agenda for today we'll be mastering all of these along with some activities and these activities you can perform at home also so stay tuned and watch all these activities and see how colorful this topic is let's get started and for that we need to go to the kitchen virtually of course what do we see we see a lot of items out there now in some of the cases the moment you taste something say suppose Our friend is tasting a lemon out there. It's sour in taste. Have you ever noticed this? You know, we make lemonade. We use lemon in a variety of uh, food items. Sour in taste. Have you ever noticed this? Yeah, you have indicators in the kitchen also. You've got acids in the kitchen. You've got bases in the kitchen. Chemistry is all around you. Yeah, absolutely right. and this brings us to a very very important term that is acids now acids basically it's derived from a latin word that is acidus it's a latin word and what is the meaning like how do we actually get to know what are acids acids give sour taste to substances khatta we all know that right yes i can see you posting lemons you people are just super cute great Hey Rakshita. Now let's talk about some of the examples. So we were talking about lemon, right? Lemon, of course, it's sour in taste, and the acid that's present in lemon is citric acid. Tamarind. What's tamarind, guys? Let's see. Jaldi se bata do. Tamarind kya hai? I'm sure you all have had tamarind in some point or the other. Emily. Yes, correct. Correct, correct, correct. It's simply so. Tamarind contains tartaric acid. Sweet lime. What sweet lime? Let's see. So I'm checking your Hindi alongside. Sweet lime. Anukriti is posting an emoji. That's exactly how we feel when we taste something sour. Yes, Madam B. Correct, correct, correct. That contains ascorbic acid. You all know about vitamin C, right? next grapes it contains malic acid milk contains lactic acid vinegar contains acetic acid we use vinegar also a lot in the kitchen right in fact in some of the substances you'll notice that more than one acid is also present hey tanisha we'll come to all of these don't worry we're just getting started with this topic yeah absolutely now Give me a thumbs up if you know about acids because I'm going to shoot a question right away and let's see if you can answer this. अभी तक बहुत simple लग रहा होगा कि इसमें क्या ही है. Like we are talking about some substances that contain acids. Urmila has given a thumbs up. Okay, so let me ask you a question out there. You have to identify the odd one out. Now please think and read the options very carefully. Option A is vinegar. Option B is tomato. Option C is tamarind. Option D is sulfuric acid. And if I'm not wrong, all of them have acids in them. 
पे क्या है लाइक हाउ टू स्पॉट दर्ड वन आउट दे ऑल आर फैसिड सो इन अ वे दे ऑल आर एसिडिक इन नेचर then what's going to be the answer hey a lot of you voting for d what is the reason e tavishi on point awesome let's just clap for tavishi first all of you i want clapping emojis in the chat box here quickly because i see a lot of you attempting the questions perfectly fine good okay yes great madhura it's always good see whenever somebody is answering we can always encourage others also right yes correct 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 you people have guessed it right all the acids are not the same so even though acid is present in all the four options but there is a difference and this brings us to a very very important concept of organic acid and mineral acid now when we talk about organic acid they are present in plants and animals so they are obtained from natural sources for example we've got acetic acid we've got citric acid so a lot of acids are there we've got lactic acid all these are organic acids we've got oxalic acid tartaric acid the list will keep going on and on so as we continue to explore more about acids you will come across a lot more examples yes awesome so you know what organic acids are now coming to mineral acids now mineral acids as the name suggests they are being prepared from minerals so they are obtained from the inorganic sources for example you've got hydrochloric acid you've got sulfuric acid so yes you can see hcl hno3 h2so4 so nitric acid sulfuric acid then of course there are other acids also you've got phosphoric acid you've got carbonic acid so many examples are there so yes the list can go on and on now generally organic acids are weak and mineral acids are strong but you know this is one subject which is full of exceptions a lot of exceptions are there so chemistry mein na kuch straight forward nahi chalega bahut sare exceptions aayenge so there are some mineral acids which are weak the like carbonic acid phosphoric acid they are mineral acids yet they are weak acids yes anukriti hcl is being used in our stomach yes nitesh hcl is mineral acid yeah correct carbonic acid is weak nikita correct correct all of you so now you know bilkul sahi aman is saying acids release h plus we'll come to that we're just starting with the chapter we'll come to everything don't worry but yes you are right so out of the given options now we know that sulfuric acid is going to be the odd one out yeah correct absolutely so vinegar we know it contains acetic acid that's going to be organic tomato contains oxalic acid again organic tamarind tartaric acid organic but sulfuric acid is mineral acid correct so you know about acids now we're just starting with the chapter don't worry guys we will be covering everything daily class hai aap bilkul aaram se maze mein attend karenge next coming to bases now bases of course they are bitter in taste how to remember this b se base b se bitter ekdam yaad rahega bases are bitter in taste and they are soapy to touch so they are very slippery to touch okay tell me one thing when you wash your hands with a soap do you do you feel the soap to be slippery let's see let's see yes surmila correct yes tavishi good good all of you see a lot of you write about yes so definitely we feel it to be so but then i'm sure you now you can figure out an example of a basic substance aman is saying i fall down all acha soap ki wajah se gir bhi chuke hain because it was so slippery hey muskan yes your chat is visible
Correct. Yes. Now, let's look at the examples. Ammonium hydroxide, that's, a, that's present in the cleaning agent that we have. Then another example of a base is magnesium hydroxide is present in antacids. Then you see the soap over here. So sodium hydroxide is there, potassium hydroxide is also there. Correct. Yes, yes, we'll come to everything. Don't worry guys, we are just starting with the chapter. Washing soda baby aayenge, don't worry. Absolutely right. So, you know about bases, you know about acids. Basic, basic to aapko samaj aagya. But, I have a question for all of you. When we can, when we have this sense in us that okay, acids are sour, bases are bitter. Then how can we distinguish between acid and base? Why do we need anything else for that? We already know. Why do you think we need anything else then? So, I am, we will come to this question later. I have got another question for all of you. Okay, you are answering, how can we distinguish using an indicator? So, you are answering for this. I am saying that we can always taste and tell, right? Then why, why do we need an indicator for that matter? Correct. We can't eat everything. We can't taste everything. There are so many items out there which are not edible. You can't keep tasting things and saying, okay, this is sour, okay, this is bitter. Can't be done, right? That's why we need indicators. And yes, Suman has written a very important point in the chat that it's corrosive. Now, we tend to think that only acids are corrosive. I'll definitely like to take up this point. In general, we feel that acids are corrosive, but bases are also corrosive in nature. Acids and bases dono corrosive hote hain, both are corrosive in nature. Absolutely, they both, the extent of course varies, but we cannot taste everything. It's not advice, it's a big no-no and that's why we need indicators. So, indicators are basically, they are the substances which are telling us about the nature. Indicator tells us about the nature of the substance, whether the substance is acidic, it's neutral, it's basic. So, they are used to test whether a given substance is an acid or a base. That is what indicators in chemistry would mean. We know in general what indicators are. In chemistry, now you know what are indicators. Now they are further, they are further divided into visual and olfactory. So there are two types. We will start with the first one that is visual indicators. We will come to litmus paper. Don't worry, yes. I will just show you quickly. We have the litmus paper here with us. We will be doing the activities. Don't worry about this. I see a lot of you getting excited for the activities. We will come to that, we will come to that. Okay, now talking about visual indicators, visual indicators of course they detect the color change. Visually, right. So these are the substances whose color changes in acidic and basic solution. They are your visual indicators. Very simple, I think chemistry is really simple. I mean you will read the name and you will know what we are talking about. Visual indicators, which visually we can tell us. Which substance is acidic, which substance is basic and how will it happen by looking at the color change. Now, let's look at some of the examples over here. Visual indicators further can be natural. For example, you can see that we have turmeric. So, turmeric is of course a natural visual indicator. Then, as you people are constantly saying, litmus kaha hai, so ye raha. Plus, we'll have an activity. Don't worry about this. So, litmus, you've got china rose also. You've got red cabbage also. There are a lot of natural indicators that we have. Next category, synthetic indicators. So, synthetic, you have methyl orange. You've got phenolphthalein. By the way, what's the color of litmus? Let's see. Litmus, which is a dye, its natural color kya hai? Have you ever seen it? Maybe in grade 7, by any chance, if you've come across that. Let's see if you remember that. Purple, okay. Yes, it's a purple dye. Naturally, it's a purple dye. Correct. Yes, Arsalan. It's extracted from lichens. Correct. Great. Yes, absolutely right. And this brings us to the first activity time that we have for all of you. And let's see which indicator we are going to use. So, we have picked up indicators that you can also use at home. Go ahead, try this out. So, it's an activity with turmeric. Let's switch to the other screen. 
and let's get started. Audible to all of you? Great, let the chat box keep going. I hope you can see me. Now for this, first of all, you will be requiring turmeric. So, we have taken turmeric in this and we have added some amount of water to make a paste of turmeric as you all can see. So, there is a turmeric paste in this. We have repeated the same with another bowl. So, this bowl also contains turmeric, some amount of water is added to it and we have a paste of turmeric in both of these. Now, let us see what happens when we add an acidic and a basic solution. So, over here, what do we have? We have vinegar with us. Let us add vinegar to the first one and see is there going to be any change. You will tell me is there any color change that you can see out there. You can mix it with the help of any stirrer. Any color change that you have observed, yes or a no? Let me know in the comment section. Nikita says no, Shweta says no, a lot of you are saying no. No color change, no color change. Okay, just remember this in case of vinegar, turmeric was not showing any color change. Now, we have got baking soda also with us. Let us put some amount of baking soda in this and let us see what happens now. Let us add and now let us mix this again and see is there going to be any color change or not. Keep mixing, keep mixing because sometimes it takes a little time and we are mixing it. You can use any stirrer. The moment you start seeing a change in color, I want to see loads of smileys in the chat box. Let us see if you can see that or not. Do you see this color change? Yes, so clearly you can see the difference in these two. I hope it is perfectly visible. Yes, great. You can see both the colors. So, there is a change in color and let us switch back to the main screen now and figure out what exactly happened here. Yeah, actually you can perform this activity at home also. Absolutely right. There was a change, right? So, this actually brings us to a very important concept, how turmeric is acting as an indicator in acidic and basic medium. So, generally when we talk about any neutral color or neutral substance, then it is going to be yellow in color. Turmeric originally is also yellow in color, in neutral also it is going to be remaining yellow only. But in acid, again there is going to be no change, it is going to stay yellow. In base, what is going to happen? It changed to red color. So, this tells us that vinegar in which the color was not changing was dash in nature. You just quickly fill in this blank. What is this dash? Let me see. Fata fat se bata do. Let us see. Acidic. Okay. And baking soda which changed it to red is dash in nature. What is this second dash that I am talking about? Basic. Yes, definitely Arsalan, you can use a hand wash. Basic. Basic. Yes, detergent also basic. Anukriti is saying, I am trying this with a detergent and it turned out to be red in color. So, matlab detergent ka nature kya ho gaya? It's going to be basic. Alright. Now, again we have got an activity time. I think this is a super cool activity based session that we have for all of you. Ye again, this activity that we will be performing is going to be with red litmus this time. You know what litmus is, right? So, we will be using red litmus. So, let's switch to the screen and see what all do we have here. Show me. 
first of all I am placing this red litmus. If you can see this red litmus, I want to see thumbs up in the chat box quickly. Great, yes. Thank you Chinmay and Akshay. Now we have got two solutions with us. The first solution that we have is vinegar and the second solution we have is of baking soda. I am going to take this red litmus, I will take a strip out of it and now let us pour the strips in both the solutions. So, you can see I have taken two strips here. One I am dipping in vinegar and one I am dipping in baking soda. So, I will just dip it. Let this go in a bit. Let us see if there is going to be any change in color. It is completely immersed right now. Let me take this out and see. Do you see any color change here? In case of vinegar, the color is still the same, right? It remains as it is. Now, let us take out this, the other strip that we have and notice its color change. What do you think? Is the color going to change? Let us see, let us see, let us take this out. And there you go. Do you see the color change happening? Yeah, you can see a shade of blue, right? So, let me put both the strips together. This way you will be able to compare the color in a better way. Now, look at both the strips. This is just merging with the skin color only. But yes, you can see this. The one that was in the baking soda has clearly turned out to be having a blue shade. So, there you go. This is the respective color change that we had here. I hope the color changes are perfectly visible to you. Now, let us switch back to the main screen that we have. Alright. So, this again brings us to a very important point that red litmus in case of acids does not show any change in color. It remained red, right? But what happened in case of a base? This red litmus very happily changed to blue color. Yes, that is super awesome. And you know, you can get this litmus paper from any stationery shop also. Some of them definitely keep this. So yes, go ahead. You can try to arrange it and perform this activity. Bilkul, badia. All right. So we have performed this activity with red litmus. We have performed the activity with turmeric. A blue litmus kare ki yaar. I also want to be a part of this session. So, let us do one thing. Let us perform the next activity with blue litmus. So, let us switch to the other screen. We have. Alright. This time, we have blue litmus with us. Yes. And we have vinegar in this. We have got baking soda solution in this. That is acidic solution and basic solution that is there with us. Why I am saying it is acidic because you have just figured this out with turmeric, right? And this is basic. We figured this out with turmeric. So, we kind of know the nature, but we will see how the litmus changes its color in acidic and basic medium. So, let us take out two strips and we will do the same. We have two strips with us. We are going to dip it in these two solutions. So, you can see the two strips are there of blue litmus, one I am dipping in this, one I am dipping in the baking soda solution. Let us see if there is any color change. Hey, the color is already visible to all of us. Yes. Great. So, we started with the blue litmus, but in case of vinegar, do you see the change in color happening? Now, it is half half. It is half blue, half red. Yes. Is it visible to all of you? But in this case, there is no change as such. The color is still the same. Yeah, correct. Absolutely right, guys. Bilkul sahi. Achha, isko pura red bana de. 
yes so let's let me hold it from this side and let's dip this blue region also so that this also turns red slowly all right okay so in a way we've changed the entire litmus blue litmus to red i hope you all can see this yeah and of course the other litmus has not changed its color all right let's go back to the main screen now and i'm sure by now you have figured out the nature so when we talk about blue litmus what happened blue litmus in acidic solution that was vinegar with us it changed to red but in case of a base that was baking soda solution it did not change it, its color it remained blue so this definitely tells us about how the litmus is changing color in acidic and basic medium you can actually try this out at home you have a lot of things around you which are either acids or bases so you can definitely try this activity and explore everything around you whether the nature is acidic or basic similarly we've got phenolphthalein that's another indicator in acidic medium it does not change its color so originally phenolphthalein is colorless it will remain colorless in acidic solutions in, in acidic substances but in basic it shows you a very beautiful light pink color so that is the color change that phenolphthalein shows in acidic and basic mediums similarly you've got methyl orange yes yes anukriti it's synthetic in methyl orange again you will see that in the acidic medium it's changing to red so originally methyl orange as the name suggests it's orange in color matlab koi problem hi nahi hai learn karne mein ki methyl orange ka original color kya hoga it's orange in acidic it changes to red and in a basic medium it changes to yellow hey mukesh you can always go back watch the class again that's completely okay absolutely right in fact china rose do you remember about china rose anybody what's the color change in acidic medium let's see if you remember this or not yes china rose is another indicator create seven mein kare jaldi se fatafat se recall and tell me what's the color change in acidic medium let's see who's going to be the first one to answer dark pink okay magenta all right and basic mein it's going to be green all right now coming to olfactory olfactory basically means relating to the sense of smell so in this case these are the substances whose smell changes in acidic or basic medium so in acidic medium the smell is something in basic medium the smell is something else we have some examples so onion vanilla essence clove oil these are all examples of olfactory indicators and in the presence of acidic substance they are in a way not losing their smell so you know onion for example has a characteristic smell it's not going to lose its characteristic characteristic smell in acidic medium no change in smell is observed but what happens in a basic medium it just loses its smell so the odor is lost bilkul sahi goranch absolutely right yes so it loses its smell in the basic medium now till now i am sure you all know everything that we've discussed so this is the perfect time to ask you a question let's see who's going to be the first one to answer read all the options okay the question is there are two test tubes we've got test tube a and we've got test tube b and they contain different solutions now there's a table being given to you and this table is actually telling you how these solutions are behaving with red litmus paper and blue litmus paper you have to analyze this behavior and tell us the nature of solution a and solution b so which is an acid which is a base correct anukriti is saying i'm not interested in olfactory indicators because you can't you can't send the smell through the camera yeah but you can try it at home that's the best part that's the best part about chemistry that it's all around you muskan is saying the correct answer is option a madhura is saying it's a pramod a i are all of you voting for anisha b acha option a says a 
is an acid and B is a base. Tavishi says it's B. A is a base and B is an acid. It's a tongue twister. Lag rahe, B, A, B, acid, base. Okay. Innovative 26 is saying it's A, damn sure. Shyoti is saying I know the answer. Shyoti, tell the answer then. Correct. Okay. A lot of you are saying A, a lot of you are saying B. Chalo. Let's understand the question now. Over here, in general, when we talk about any acidic medium, any acidic solution, then the red litmus paper remains red while the blue litmus paper turns red. When we talk about a basic solution, what happens? A blue litmus paper remains blue but a red one turns blue. This is what we have just saw, right, visually. And in neutral, red remains red, blue remains blue. Based on this, when we talk about test tube A, it is showing no change with red litmus but it is showing, it is turning red with blue litmus while your B solution, it is turning the red litmus to blue while the blue litmus is not changing its color. So yes, A is acidic and B is basic in nature. Yeah, I can see innovative 26 is like, yeah, yeah, I am right. I knew the answer. Good, all of you. So yes, the correct answer is going to be option A. But I want to say something over here. Suppose this was not being given to you. It was just red litmus in that case. Red litmus turning to blue confirms that B is basic. But red litmus not changing its color in case of A can actually tell us that, you know, it can be acidic also, it can be neutral also. So, that is why they can just, this is very important for you to know that they can twist the question this way. If this second part is not there, then the nature could be acidic, the nature could be neutral for A. But since this is being given to us, this confirms that A is acidic in nature. Correct. All right, this was awesome guys. By the way, if you've liked all the activities, I want you to hit the like button first. Yeah, great. Absolutely right. All right, so let's see what homework question we have for you. So this is a new chapter that we've started today, right? Acid, bases and salts. So starting, say, let's get in that habit of attempting the homework questions. It takes a minute to come back and post your answer. But the moment I read your name and I feel that you've given the right answer, it kind of makes us feel that, yes, you people are on the right track. So, we feel very proud ki chalo, our students are attempting the homework questions that we are sharing. So, I hope all of you are going to take out that one minute, you will come back, you will attempt the question because the question is super interesting. Let's see what the question is. The indicators which turn red in acidic solution are, so, which are the indicators which are turning red in acidic solution? Turmeric and litmus, Phenolphthalein and methyl orange, litmus and methyl orange, phenolphthalein and litmus. So we've got four options. For this, you need to be really thorough with all the colors. Then only you'll be able to answer. Yes, I see. I see a mix of answers. That's why I want you to revise this class. Come back, watch the session again. Revise all the colors that we've talked about. And then, of course, I am sure then you will be able to answer. I see A, C, B, all options in the chat box. All right, I will be waiting for your comments after the live session gets over. Come back, post your answers. This way, I will get to know that, yes, you have attempted the homework question. Yes? Great. And you can, of course, post your answers. You can leave it in the comment section below. And yes, we have got you covered. We will keep coming up with amazing sessions, activity-based sessions for all of you. But yes... What we want from you is, whatever kind of sessions you want from us, keep posting it in the chat box so that we also know what you are liking because we definitely read all your comments personally. Awesome! Absolutely right. Definitely, we believe in quality education and that's what we are here for. We are delivering all the sessions that needs to be quality driven for sure. Correct. Ash says A and C dono. Chalo, sochna Ash, what's the correct answer? I see a lot of you voting for the correct option, but I see a lot of you not voting for the correct. So, I want all of you to revise this topic. Great. And of course,
that's for the ones who've joined us late. The mini learning program is now absolutely free. So all you have to do is use this code YT free and quickly do this because this is for a limited time period only. And by doing that, you will unlock a lot of premium features out there like two teacher advantage, one on one guidance, live interactive classes, assignments, assessments. And the best part is you can choose the topic of your choice and you can schedule the class as per your convenience. So what are you waiting for? Quickly use this code YT free and get this introductory pack of three sessions for absolutely free. Just for zero rupees. I mean, this is, this is kind of really catchy, isn't it? Hey, good to know you've tried this out. For others who've not tried this, quickly avail this offer. Quickly grab this opportunity, I would say. Awesome. And yes, we have talked so much about indicators today. And I really feel that indicators is making this chapter really colorful. And it's making chemistry as a whole. It's adding colors to the subject as well. Yes, a lot of colors we saw out there. Awesome. Definitely, definitely. So, very cute topic the indicators ka. And if you've liked the activities, if you've liked the session, quickly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon as well. All right, guys, keep working hard, keep exploring the magic of chemistry around you. Try out all these activities, and I'll see you in the next session super soon. Take care. Bye bye.